we are home. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, how can we add value to our homes? Well, I'm going to be showing you three top tips to jazz up your kitchen, because a good kitchen can add up to 10% value of your property. And also, the new trend is panelling. So, I'll be showing you how you can do it, and also, it doesn't cost very much as well. Excellent, Steph. And, and, and if you're here today, you might as well do Strictly Fitness, Wayne. Do, do you have any idea of what to expect? <laughs> no, bring it on. Come on. Okay, yeah. OT, tell him. What are I we mean, doing? I the, mean, the good thing is that now you can't say no because you're here already. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be working out, you know, just to match the weather. We want to make it completely opposite to that fun, fit and Friday goodness. The Friday feeling, that's what we like. For sure. Yes, but before we get to all of that, the stamp duty holiday is due to end on the 30th of June and it's led to a rush of people trying to buy their dream home. Yes, yeah, so if you're hoping to move or just feel like your house needs a bit of a facelift, DIY expert Wayne Perry is here to teach us the quick jobs which will add real value to the price of your home. Now then, Wayne, the kitchen is the most scrutinised room when people are walking in, maybe looking for a house, having a little bit of a nosy, even if it's on online at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, isn't it? How can we how can we smarten the kitchen and what can we do? Oh, well, there's a few top tips I can teach you today. And three of the main ones is, the first one particularly, is kitchen cabinet doors. Your kitchen cabinet doors, yes. over time, naturally look droopy. As you can see from this one, it's drooping down. Do you have these droopy oh, kitchen yes. cabinet doors? Yes, yes, yes we do. And, and it's a job I always off as well because it just feels like a bit of a faff doesn't it oh but i love it Are you, like, oh well? i'm addicted if you invite me around to your house literally i'll be fixing cabinet <laughs> you were invited as of yeah. now oh, yeah. <laughs> so literally it's an easy fix all you okay. need is a phillips screwdriver a, um, a crosshead screwdriver and if you look inside here i've done a little mock-up for you you've got the kitchen hinges here and it's the same for your wardrobes as well any flat pack furniture has a similar hinge but a lot of people don't know there's three little screws inside that represent different movements of the door mm -hmm. so one brings it up and down left and right and forward and back so so, so for example this one it's a bit droopy, which means I need this hinge to go closer to the cabinet right. side. So I'm just going to put this little screwdriver in here. Mm. As soon as I go in there and twist it, it moves it to the side of the carcass, pull it round, and it's levelled it up. Wow. Okay. But in, and if I wanted to do it a little bit more, I'd yep. push this one and pull it out that way. So that's your ki kitchen cabinet door. So already... Trial and error, then. Trial and error, but just play about with it, and it'll all bring it all up. Give it a facelift. Yeah, and it's also quite simple, isn't it? Because you can do it by yourself. Really simple. Yep. And all you need is a screwdriver. Second one is, is tiles. Your, you know, tiles mm. go out of date really quickly. So if you just paint them, you don't have to remove them. Just give them a lick of paint and instantly gives you a facelift as well. Yeah, that will help, doesn't it? Uh, a particular type of paint, like a type of side the paint falls off tiles. It does, it? it does. You need to clean it properly, you know, sugar soak it, get all the grease off it, <laughs> and then go get a tile um, paint. They, they say it on the tin, say what it is on the tin. You're missing a handle on that. I'm missing a handle. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing a handle. I'd imagine that helps as well. It does, it? changing handle. Yeah. It, and, and all it is is literally undoing one screw most of the time. You know, it's a doorknob pretty much yeah. on the front yeah. of the handle. Remove the screw, take it out, Put it on, and then you've instantly given it all a, a new spru spruce. New kitchen. Like new kitchen. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We can also talk about trends, design trends, because I know nothing about it. Paneling is one of them. How hard is that to do? It's not hard at all. And I work sure. with a lot of interior designers, and paneling is the thing that can add instant, instant pizzazz to a room. So there's a few different types of paneling. There's beading and there's overlay flat. All right. Um, so let's start with beading. Beading. Yeah. Tell us about... Beading, beading is a bit like picture framing. So if you've got a plain wall, you just cut some beading and attach it to it like a picture frame. And we've got a, a picture there. You can see this is literally just... In, it's actually dado, dado rail um, panel, um, what would go around your waist height. I've cut this at 45-degree angle, which means I've attached it to the wall. Mm. And if you... I'll just show you how to... You use, cut these at mitre angle. So this is a mitre, mitre angle, angle here. So if you get your normal wood saw, basic wood saw, and you put this... On your tin. No! What? That gives you your 90 degrees, so if you wanted a 90 degrees, but then if you twist it that way... That's your mitre angle. That gives you your, your mitre angle. I you did not know table. that. So, <laughs> that simple, simple five quid saw means you could do that and attach it to the wall with pins and glue. So tell us about the flat panelling. The flat panelling, this is really easy to is do. Is it? It doesn't look that easy. It <laughs> never does, does. <laughs> It's like, you're telling me I can do this by myself. I'm like, I don't think so. You can, you can. And all of this was pre-cut. 
I didn't cut any pieces of timber okay. on this. So as you see, you see on, on the VT there, I, I, all of it was pre-cut ahead of time. I went to my local timber yard and I gave them a cutting order and they cut it all. I glued it the back and then pinned it. So yeah, I used a pin gun, but it's the glue that's right. the most important. The pin's just holding it slightly in place while the glue sets. Right. So you don't even need the pin gun. Glued it, sanded it, filled it with some filler, and then once you paint it all in, it looks like it's all wow. one part of panelling. So obviously this part down here is what would be your wall, but once it's painted in, it looks like the old panelling that you have. Yeah, like you've got in the hallway, do you? Like you've got in the hallway. A bit, a bit of paint and it's lovely, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, so just, gorgeous I'm just going to yeah. finish this bit off. Yeah, go on so then. put a little bit of glue, like I say, just any PVA wood glue mm. on there. Smooth. I'm going to go behind my pulpit, get my goggles, safety goggles. It's like you're doing a magic set, when not you? Yeah. yeah. So what then? Pull out next. And then put this. Goggles on. Goggles on, on the top there. Put that down there. I'm just going to pin. Got glue on my fingers. because it's... There. Final one there. There we are. Just fill the holes. I'm done. And you're just doing that for time as well, because you, you get a hammer in there if, you, if yeah. you just be careful to do it. Yeah, you could just pin it, you know. But like I said, the pins aren't the important bit. It's the glue that's the important bit. I love the effect of that. I do. It's really lovely. It looks like a completely different cupboard yeah. already. And you know what you need to do tonight? Sort out your droopy cupboards. <laughs> All right. So do you That's and your very, loud ones. That's a very Don't good call point. Call me out again. I'm as, I'm as bad as you. Thank you so much, Wayne. You're welcome. Good stuff.